What's going on guys? King Shrats here back into the video on the channel and today we went to Bubba Koo's Burritos. I saw a sign on the wall that said they had some new sauces to try so I said I gotta try these out. Bubba Koo's, everybody talks about the other chains, Chipotle's, your Moe's, uh, your Qdoba's, but in my opinion I prefer this one over all of them and I got a lot of different options like I usually do when I showcase it but for people who don't know about it just sit back relax enjoy because I think you will enjoy the content that is out today drop a thumbs up you guys already know the vibes i am going to i said drop a thumbs up y'all always ignoring me <laughs> i had to do it anyway let's just go through these real quick we are going to start off on the left we got three orders of tacos they have a ton of different protein options which is why i like them so much i am a big person on switching up proteins and a lot of places miss on a lot of different things you know they might have good chicken but their steak is mid and so on and so forth but i got three orders of shrimp tacos here to soft tacos you can already see what's going on in there so there's a sour cream new sauce which is the serrano pepper we got black beans pico corn and i already said the sour cream and cheese but that is what's going on in here all their tacos come with complimentary chips as well as their burrito bowls which is what this is so i'm gonna throw this one out for you next i don't want to drop these this burrito bowl is this the burrito bowl no these are actually the loaded queso curly fries excuse me i messed that one up but carnitas pico corn salsa sour cream and cheese this comes out to eight dollars for this big thing right here you ain't getting that nowhere else i got the fries though i like the fries you can do it with nachos if you'd like as well but i want to do it with the fries this is the burrito bowl you can tell by how loaded this thing is but the burrito bowl this is 13 dollars. but again it's heavy as hell but in here we got hibachi steak one of their other new sauces which is the chipotle crema the seasoned white rice black beans pico de gallo corn salsa cilantro sour cream cheese and fajita veggies yes that is everything in here yes the only thing they charge you extra for like every other place is the fajita veggies it's 99 cents so it would have been 12 and change it's 13 and change but i don't mind that at all they also give you a good amount and as you can see i'm gonna hold this up for you one more time they are actually seasoned thank goodness some people don't be seasoning their freaking fajitas to get you soggy at. And over here, I love their wings. I haven't tried these yet. Shouldn't be anything too crazy, but these are Old Bay wings. You get eight in an order, and they are $9. And I like their wings. They give you pretty good-sized wings, and they well do them. You know I like well-done wings. Some people don't. If you don't, you might not like these. Ranch comes with the wings. Queso, I paid, I think, $0.99 cents for this. But it's a big old thing of queso to go with whatever the hell I want it on. You can also get queso on anything. They do charge you extra for that, though. I think it's like a buck. I'm not 100% sure, but what I usually do is just get the tub, and if I want it, I'll just throw them over um, at the end. But their menu is a lot more extensive than a lot of places, in my opinion, uh, as far as the amount of options that you have. And they do have dessert menu with actual fresh-made desserts. They got, like, boardwalk nachos, which I've gotten, uh, as well as, uh, like, fried Oreos, deep-fried Oreos. Um, and they have a few other things. They, they sell wings, chicken sandwiches. If you've never been, and there's one near you, like... I'm, I don't get paid by them at all, like nothing. Um, this is not an ad whatsoever. This is just me keeping it a buck with you guys. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of Chipotle. There are just other places, in my opinion, that are much better. But let's get into these. What are we going to start with? Let's start with the burrito bowl, which I already described, but I described everything six times. But I'll say it again real quick. Hibachi steak, Chipotle crema, which is the new sauce, seasoned white rice, black beans, pico, corn salsa, cilantro, sour cream and cheese. What are we saying? Let me get in here. I'm not going to stop using plastic utensils. They give them to me, I'm going to use them. All right? And unless y'all want to come do my dishes, it's one fork. I don't care. They give them to me. What am I going to do? Throw them out? This is what you do. Anyway, big old serving right here. Oh, the Chipotle crema is good. Mm-hmm. On their spice scale, they have it as kind of spicy. I would call it mild, but my spice tolerance is above average. It's not elite, it's not crazy, but it's above average. Now, you already know you got to kind of get a little mix though in here. We're just going to mix one half, though. But if you don't do this with your burrito bowls, I would say you're probably like a novice. But, you know, I'm not here to fault anybody. But let, let's take a look at this now, and we're going to grab ourselves a nacho chip to scoop this in. But there it is. We only do promos. Why am I? I don't want them on the, under my uh, table. Let's just let's just grab a couple. Chuck these on top of it. Y'all want more real quick, wingies? Yeah, just you know, slide out the way. All right. 
Boom. Yes, sir. This hits different. Look at that, man. Look at all the steak you get. That same bowl at 90% of those places would have been like 22 hours. And in my opinion, it tastes better. This is one of the few places that I actually get steak from. I don't like steak from a lot of these places. There are some that others. I do like Moses steak, if I'm being real. But I never get steak at Chipotle. The Chipotle crema is very good. It, it just seems like a Chipotle sour cream, if I'm being real. It sounds cooler when you say crema, but... It's got that very mild Chipotle in adobo flavor, if you're familiar with the can. If you've ever cooked it before. It seems like that's what they used in here. Don't act like I'm the only person who's ever broken a nacho chip in half trying to get them out. And... Everything else in here, they always load you up with the toppings. So, a good amount of cheese, a little bit of sour cream. I didn't ask for a lot. And their rice is never like salty or some, some place is going to be salty rice. I don't like it. I'm just giving you a complete rundown on why I like it, I guess. Also, if you happen to hear chewing in the background, my dogs both have chew toys right now, and I'm not going to bother them. They're playing nice instead of running around like two crazy people. But I'm going to say, in case you do hear it, my mic does pick it up sometimes. And some people have ass. But just because daddy got to go to work, don't mean that them boys got to stop, you know, being dogs. So I'm going to let them go. If you hear it, I'll tell them next time. I ain't going to tell them nothing. But the Chipotle crema is something that I would get a lot. I don't know how the other one's going to taste with the Serrano. But this one, I like it. Brutal Bowl itself, as far as Brutal Bowls I've gotten from any place, that's my favorite. I'm rating this up against only the chain burrito scales again. I don't put chain restaurants with mom and pops. I think it's an unfair fight. People got to kind of have an expectation when you go in. But this is the best one from there. On that scale, I would give this a solid nine. Fajita veggies, man. Fire, too. Sugar-free lemonade today. I ran out of diet mid. But I always have a lifetime supply of that as well. Let's go to number two. We're going to go with the Taco Trio. This cost $12 because I got shrimp. Shrimp is always a little bit more expensive. But I went through it, but I always got to go through it twice. Soft tortillas with the nacho chips. So we have cheese, the sour cream, the corn salsa, the pico de gallo, the black beans, and then their other sauce that they have which is the serrano pepper now this one also says kind of spicy which means it's probably gonna be mild as hell but you gotta say kind of spicy damn <laughs> besides this taco i ain't mad at that who saw that shrimp fall on the floor i did I felt it in my soul. Kind of hurt. I think the Serrano one has a little bit more of the flavor profile that I like. I love Serrano peppers in uh, different kinds of dishes. And I'm happy that it doesn't taste artificial. It doesn't taste like it came from a bottle. The shrimp... As you can probably tell, because there's 9 million pieces of shrimp in it. It's super fresh as far as it's not gummy. Sometimes shrimp, you overcook it. But when you ask them for proteins, they take it out and cook it. A lot of times. They'll actually throw it out on there. With the shrimp, they do. The chicken and stuff, they don't. For my walk in here and call me a liar. The shrimp, they actually make fresh. Hibachi steak. As well, they make fresh. They put it out. Which is probably why it costs more. Just a heads up for you going in there. Their premium topping, so hibachi steak and shrimp, 
and certain things when you ask for it they actually put it on the griddle and cook it in front of you but if you get the carnitas uh, the ground beef the chicken they have grilled and shredded they just have it inside the thing waiting for you so i always like to get this kind of stuff because it just tastes fresher in my opinion but the serrano pepper flavor is really on there the spice level it said kind of spicy it is the exact same as what i felt with the chipotle crema mm. there's so much damn shrimp on here that i'm pulling shrimp out from the bottom if you don't want bubble clues after this i don't tell you a lot of y'all say things like they should pay me they probably should for this because this is hitting different but I don't want the money. I'll take a burrito or two though. But this, shrimp taco, I'll give it a solid 8.7. That is very good. Just one more time for it. Look at the seasoning. You know what I'm saying? I got another camera, so I got used to the autofocus. I just realized, I'll tell y'all as I go. The autofocus on this, if I hold it too close, it doesn't focus. I have to back up. I got it now, though. Loaded queso curly fries. Garnitas. Pico de gallo corn salsa, sour cream, and cheese. They have curly fries that they fry up for you when you ask for them. And you can get them just like nachos, but with the works on them. And I've never had these before. I have had the curly fries, which are superior in my opinion. So. Yeah, okay. Yep. Yep. I love curly fries. They're always seasoned better than regular fries because they come that way. Adding everything I would like onto a nacho and putting it on these did nothing wrong. And for eight dollars. It's bigger than most burrito bowls you get from certain places. Mm. That's fire. Let me pick this up a little bit. Now let me get in these carnitas real quick. There you go. Take a look at that. I have had some dry ass carnitas in my life. Thank goodness that's not dry. And they are seasoned too. Love that. Mm. Honestly, you can get that as a meal and call it a day. I might like this better than a burrito bowl. It's like substituting rice for curly fries. Sign me up. Might be the best damn thing I got. If I put that steak on there, well, if I jazz it up with these toppings on the fries, might might have done something here. But that's definitely going in my rotation. And you can't get this from other places. Hmm. I'm going to be real. I know it's not traditional. But I personally don't care. And it's better than this. If it had that on it. So it's slightly lower in this rating. But you feel what I'm saying? If these toppings were on here, it would be like landslide, you know, like a sweep type of thing. But I'll get one more. One more time. Just, you know, before I dip. Yeah. 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 8.9 out of 10. Bro. If I'd have switched that, you'd have been talking high nines. And last, I love their wings. I've always gotten their wings. I usually get lemon pepper or garlic parm, but I want something different today. A lot of people love Old Bay, so I'm trying their Old Bay wings. Now, their Old Bay wings, I like this one right here. It's probably just Old Bay seasoning, but they do fry their wings right. So I'm not going to be mad at this more than likely. A liberal amount of Old Bay on here. You don't clean your wings. I don't care. I'm trying to talk. 
but listen, I'm gonna keep it a stack. All right. I like my wings like this. Some people don't. I prefer well done. Some people don't. Some people might go, oh, I don't like them. I like my wings. They're too dry. I feel you. But if you're on that well done side like me, and you go here and get you an order of wings, you're going to be happy. If you like Old Bay, there's a liberal ass amount of Old Bay on here. But my preference, that's how I like my wings. I wouldn't put it above the other ones I've had, like the garlic parm. They've got like 15 different sauces that you can even put on their burritos. But that's definitely something that's like all come. No. Are they better than going to like a regular wing place? Some of the franchise ones? Yeah. But this is more of the, it's a dope thing to get on the menu. This is one of the few places that I could go and get nothing that comes from a burrito place and still be happy with what I ate from there. I could walk in there and get an order of fries and wings with well, boardwalk Oreos, which are deep fried Oreos, and still be like, yo, this was fire. And that's a big reason why I like this place. I'm big on customization and versatility and affordability, and it kind of has all three. So if you're near one, I suggest you try them. These wings, i probably give like a 7.8 out of 10. Compared to other like franchise wings, they're not in the GOAT category, but they are good. Their lemon pepper and garlic parm are actually much higher up on that list. But Old Bay, I mean, it's not really original. You know what I'm saying? You got to really be a big fan of Old Bay, which I'm a fan, but some people put Old Bay on everything. I'm not that guy. Um, but would I eat those again? Yeah, I would probably just stick to the lemon pepper. Yeah, let me grab you up. Um, flaps. Still prefer drums. Wait a dollar. But, y'all get what I'm saying. Overall, this was a lot to go through. I talked about a lot of different options that they have, and there are a ton more. I have a lot of videos from them, and they haven't let me down yet. I've done multiple eating challenges at this place, too. One on Instagram back in the day, and I actually did one when I first started YouTube, where I ate a 12-pound burrito. It's one of the most miserable things I've ever done. And a big reason why I stopped doing eating challenges. But, overall... I just think that this place has more options and better tasting stuff that's more affordable, like across the board, in my opinion. If you want me to try the other places again, I did this a while ago, but I will give you my rankings. This is number one, Moses number two, <laughs> Qdova is three, and Chipotle is four. People get really mad at my Chipotle thing. I've explained it a billion times. It's just not for me. For what I like in a brutal place, it ain't got it for me. But overall, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you live near one, try them out. I think you'll actually like it a lot. But I got one more episode of that uh that Tom Holland show. I forgot what it's called, The Crowded Room. I gotta finish it. So I gotta get on that. Get some work done. But I had to stop him, show you guys some food, chop it up a little bit, and I love y'all. We'll be back tomorrow. More content than hand signs. They made it to YouTube.